There's no shortage of gadgets and gizmos to keep you safe, but do any of them work? Let's start with this, a UV sterilizing flashlight pointed at things and it's supposed to kill germs. But the instructions say the UV light can also be hazardous. Which has warnings all over it for me not to look at it and not to be exposed even though it's just a flashlight. I mean, certainly UV light can have a you know germicidal effect. Generally, my take is these types of devices can be helpful, uh, but it's not necessarily an end-all be-all. But there are a lot of catches. For starters, this stuff causes sunburns and skin cancer. It can also mess up your eyes and make you go blind. Plus, it takes a while to work, maybe up to 15 minutes according to some studies. That's why our second product, a UV disinfecting chamber, takes that long to work and makes you close the lid first. But in our test, we found that it actually kills the living things on a phone. It just didn't completely sterilize. Besides, now we know coronavirus on the surfaces isn't the biggest worry. The harms have been demonstrated in kind of that I'm breathing your aerosolized, you know, breath. The good old fashioned mask really doesn't seem like much, but it has been shown to be effective. So I personally would not necessarily use a, a UV wand. Which brings us to this. It's a KN95 mask with a hose hooked up to a fan with a filter. The good news is as you go about your day, you get a nice breeze blowing in your face. The downside is you look ridiculous. The downside obviously to this is you look like this. Yeah, but I, I agree. Is yes. this gonna filter out coronavirus? It's really not. And the reason is you have to look at the PM rating and PM is the particle matter rating. For this thing, that's 2.5. Viruses are way smaller than that. So the filter won't filter out a virus. Dr. Hamed says the mask is pretty good, except it's got a hole in it and fan blowing air at your face. I would not be caught dead in this in public. <laughs> Remember that sound. You'll hear a lot of it. So it's going to do that every time I touch something. It's a wristband that's supposed to keep you from touching your face. Not touching my face, stuff going off. Good in theory, in execution, it has issues. All right, after just a little bit with this thing, it's definitely annoying and I definitely want this thing to stop, especially because it goes off even if I'm not touching my face. And sometimes when I do touch my face, it doesn't go off. But the annoying buzz actually does work. They use something similar in hospitals. When you're walking by, you're right about to enter a room, a little ding noise going off is a reminder to, hey, you know, just don't forget to scrub your hand. But this thing could backfire. It could be so annoying, you ignore it completely. Uh, if you keep getting pinged and dinged and ringed all the time, eventually you get fatigued to a point where it becomes like an alert fatigue and you're gonna start ignoring it. So there's no easy fix, no super invention that will keep COVID at bay. Some of these products do work, sort of, but the most highly recommended product is still your mask. William Pitts, 12 News.